Hey guys, Kevin Bupp here, and in this video, we're going to talk about purchasing mobile home parks that are in floodplains. Now, first off, you need to determine what percentage of the park is actually located in a floodplain, and also if it's a 100 year or 500 year floodplain. You know, if it's a very small portion of the park, then it might not be a very big deal at all. You can simply go to the FEMA website, go to FEMA dot org to see if the park itself is actually in a floodplain. You just plug the address in there and it will show you exactly what portion of any of the park is in that floodplain and also if it's a 100 year or 500 year floodplain. Now here's some of the questions that you really need to take into consideration to determine if it even makes sense to bear the risk of, of actually purchasing a park that's in a floodplain. So the first question you need to ask is what will the increased insurance cost be? What you need to do is simply get with your agent and have this discussion with them ASAP and don't use the current owner's insurance cost. Get your own numbers based on having adequate coverage. What I've seen a lot of times is that a lot of owners, they don't have the appropriate coverage for their mobile home park. And so surely don't use their profit and loss or their insurance numbers, get your own. The next question you need to ask is, when's the last time a major flood actually hit that area? And was that actual park damaged during that flood event? If so, how severely? You can just go to Google and type in the city and state of where that park's located and the word flood, and you'll see if there have been any major floods in the past. And if there has been, you might even be able to find some pictures uh, on Google of the actual flood. Hopefully you won't find pictures of the park uh, in the flood. Also, you can simply call the, the county and ask if the park in question was ever impacted during that actual flood event. The next question you need to ask is, if a flood occurs and the park is a complete loss, what will your plan be to get that back up and running and operational? You know, what if the county requires that you now put all the homes on stilts, right? I've seen this happen and it's incredibly expensive. Also, if a flood does happen that causes damage, your park will become a much less desirable area for people to want to live, right? And if people don't have a desire to live there, how are you going to fill it back up? And lastly, guys, you always want to think about your exit strategy. You know, who will buy your park when it comes time to sell? If you're actually having doubts about buying it, then I can promise you other buyers will when it comes time for you to exit out of that property. Don't ever go into a property thinking that I'm gonna hold this thing forever. There is always a time and place when you probably will either need or want to sell. And also you never wanna get into an investment without having an exit strategy in mind. And so with that guys, that's all I have for today's video. I appreciate you watching. If you found value in this, please like it and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one. You guys take care.